Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Slim Jim and he's in his T-57 Heavy. This is the Tier 10 American Auto Loading Heavy Tank. What is on this? Oh, I see. It's a nice paint job and uh, interesting decals. Um, so this is a Tier 10 game on Runeberg and already got battle damage on it, huh? Also, one mark of excellence. That's cool. This should be a good game. Um, that was the wrong button entirely. I noticed he's got two repair kits on. So, if you're ever against him, set him on fire. <laughs> and watch him burn. <laughs> um, anyways, so. Uh, until you really know a tank, I recommend always keeping a fire extinguisher on the tank. Because you never know. Um, but obviously Sim feels confident he's not going to get set on fire. And uh, he wants the extra repair kit instead. He does get lit though. And he never quite got around that corner. Um, in his email he does say he was lagging at some points. So maybe um, that's what was happening just then. Um, in, in, or, or, or maybe he just couldn't get around a corner. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, he is currently focused on the far side and he is behind cover enough that nobody can see him well they can right now but up until that point he wasn't spotted and uh, and if he fired through the cover of the bush he would not have been spotted Ooh, object 257 obviously thinks he can he has the advantage and slim is teaching him why that's not the case uh, do note slim has got his heat shells loaded first I don't know exactly why that is. Um, it's a tier 10 game. Yes, but there's only three tier 10s. You shouldn't need the heat loaded at, off the start. Though that <laughs> object is very, very sad that he has it, obviously. Uh, the IS-7 would be a prime target for the heat. But we can't see the IS-7 right now. We can get spotted, though, presumably by the object. Who must have wheeled around a little bit and suddenly was able to see us. Um, that post is a problem because, of course, the heat will not go through it. It will simply move up right there. Um, and with the object being the only thing that we can actually shoot at, um, the object is what we're going to go shoot at. Oh, of course, as soon as he rushes, that's when the other uh, tanks on the enemy team decide to push out. Unfortunately for them, they don't actually do anything with that rush. And the object falls because he's got no allies. We get a nice shot into that Type 4. Seeing out in the open is a bad plan, though. There we go. As the Type 4 smacks him. I was expecting him to continue his run, at least over here somewhere. Or start reversing, but sit, just sitting in the middle in the open is a bad idea. Uh, though that may have been a lag spike, and it may just have not been his goal. Okay, that's an interesting place to park there. Type four. That's a bad idea. And um, by the way, you do not need heat for the side of the Type four. Uh, regular shells would have cut, cut through that guy perfectly fine. If he was facing you, it might be a different story. But he's not, and he seems dead set on coming out side on. So. Oh, we got a mod one circling around behind us. Looks like somebody on the team has noticed. But, um, we're not turning around for it. No point in shooting the f side skirts with this, um, this ammo. It's not going to go through the tracks. And so you're just going to be wasting some ammo. We do get a little bit of spawning damage, which is good. And the 50 TP does land a great show. Looks like the mod one is backed off. Okay, that lets us get aggressive on the Carn Carnarvon. And uh, we're just gonna go around and pop this poor guy in the face with one heat shell and then what, saving the second heat shell, final heat shell for the Type 4. Unfortunately, hitting him in the tracks, and that one does not go through. Uh, had he had a regular AP round loaded right then, it would have been fine and it would have actually probably killed him. Oh well, just you know, little mistakes. I personally like to save <laughs> your uh, gold shells for when they truly matter. I don't think they did start this game, but 
I assume Slim has a reason, and I'm sure he'll tell us in the comments what his reason is. Unless, of course, he's going for his marks of excellence, in which case he needs more heat on his, his uh, tank, if that, that's what he's going for. IS-7 seems to be the only thing left on this flank, and it's attacking. Okay, that wasn't what I expected, but obviously it worked for him. Um, the IS-7 gets around behind us and takes out the 50 TP. Um, but Pantera decides that, you know what? Let's, let's attack them straight on, because that's always a good plan. And so Slim just takes him out, knowing he's on his way. The IS-7 hasn't actually appeared yet, and considering the fact that we can't clip him, it's a bad idea to push out into him. So we're going to wait here a little bit. We're going to actually fast forward a bit because I do not know how long that I-7 is going to wait. Or if he's going to push out. It looks like he's not. He's getting positioned way over there. Takes out the T-10. And in the meantime, Slim has re -goaded. With a full clip, he still cannot take this guy out unless he rolls high. Uh, unless, of course, I'm an idiot. In which case, I am. Because for some reason... I had thought he only does 300 damage per shell. It's of course 400 damage per shell, which means he has enough if every single shell goes through. That one did not pen. So now we have an issue. Um, doesn't blow his repair kit, actually. He knows how long the I-7's real timer is, and he doesn't need to blow the repair kit. With only 125 damage left on the I-7, it takes out our artillery and starts moving towards us. T-44 flubs the shot. We are going to be reloaded in time? Yes! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Snags that one and saves the Conqueror's life. Okay. <laughs> Reloading and moving on. We're going to fast forward because, of course, it's going to be a little bit before we get back into the action. Conqueror moves around the corner so you can start shooting at people. Uh, unfortunately, that does place him in line of sight if anybody rounds this corner and since there is an enemy scout tank left on the team we do have to keep that in mind it's a possibility we have a T-49 out in the field camping in a bush because this is not always oh, on 137 health okay I I gave him the benefit of the doubt but woo, we got lit the AMX right there up that road possibly in the same location has been all game as he bounces off us somehow on the side. Uh, he was firing heat. It did not get fully absorbed by the tracks. I don't know exactly what happened to it. Um, he pokes his head out. Does not get spotted. Interesting. That means either um, the AMX is moved or he's directly behind this tree. One of those two. Because, of course, otherwise he would be spotting us. Um... Now it is possible that we continue to push towards the enemy base. However, um, rounding this corner is a bad plan because I'm sure there's a couple of tanks straight down the point or straight down the street. Oh well, moving forward. Gets up, gets himself in the hull down position and just keeps going. Looks like 1375 or 13 105 has moved on um, because otherwise we would have been spotted again. We'd be getting shot at right now. That's not happening. Credit to the T49 who is actually moving up. Um, oh, there's the 105 right there. Takes out the 49 and then we put the second or er, put a shot into him, taking him out of the game. Now they have no eyes. Of course. We have no eyes either, so it's going to be like two boy men in a slap fight, but it's not the point, right? <laughs> that mm, may have been insensitive. <laughs> uh, oh well. Uh, you guys don't come to my channel for sensitivity, right? Because it's a bad place to be for that. Okay, um, oh, there's the Conway, good, T-44 is still alive, on about half health, which is actually about where we are, 
Our health have, health is just obviously more than his. Trading shots with Conway. Nobody does any damage to anybody. Um, I'm sure Slim wants to cross this gap and, and get his gun into this fight. But this is a bad plan. Artillery gets its gun into the fight. Um, as Slim decides it's going to be worth the risk and crosses the gap. Doesn't get spotted. That means none of the tank destroyers up there, if they're looking this way, they do not have Binox. Which is deadly, by the way, for tank destroyers. Okay. So he's going to set up a side scrape and he's going to start thinking about this Conway and how he can kill him. Oh! Luckily the Conway is not looking around the corner because that would have been unfortunate had he been. As we backed into the wall. No Conway. Waiting games. Oh, I hate waiting games. Now, there is only three minutes left in this game. Oh! Yag Target's taken out by our Batchet. No, wait. Our Batchet takes out their Yag Target. That's what happened. So their artillery is down. That is a huge bonus. I wish our artillery would move up, personally. Um, he is down in the bottom corner of the map for some reason. He could be up here really easily um, and be perfectly safe and be in such a spot where he could get faster shots on the enemy. Um, okay, so the T-44 can push up if he wants to. Obviously, we got his back now. We also got his front. And we are in a position where we can take out any enemies that want to come and fight him. Um, so the T-44... Needs to at least push up to our position. Uh, if he's not going to do that, then he's not going to be much use to the team. Two minutes left in the game. And it looks like we're going to have to be the ones that move. Scorpion G is definitely a threat out there. But so is losing the game. Oh, there is a Scorpion G. Just got spotted. But he's obviously not running Binox because he didn't spot us until we spot him. And now, we are reloading. But the Conway is still not coming out. So the Conway obviously thinks that we're not, not reloading. The Conway is waiting for us to run that corner so that he can shoot us and then... Because he, he, he thinks he can uh, last through our last two rounds. Or maybe he's on low enough health that he doesn't think he's going to last through the last two rounds. But either way, we got to move or we are going to lose this game by default. Um, that ISU is way up there. Spotted and shot by the Yag Tiger. It feels like we should have a shot on him. I don't think we do. I think there's a building in the way. Going to have to just round this corner on the Conway who's looking the wrong way. And... Conway gets absolutely destroyed, and that is going to be game six kills. Uh, kind of platooned up with the Conquer GC for our brothers in arms. I don't know if they will. We'll have to see when we hit the oh the victory screen. But wow, that was a tense end to a game. <laughs> Ace tanker, bruiser, duelist, fiver effect, high caliber, and the top gun. Well done. That was that was a great game. Um, a little bit slow at the end, but I mean it happens. Don't worry about it. Um, well done. Just one last thing to note, and it has nothing to do with the game. I understand. I just looked at the camera and realized it looks like I've been like seeing like this all game. It, it's because the camera is tilted. <laughs> um, uh, this this is me seeing vertical. Um, so, oops. I, I didn't realize this, the camera was on like a 45 degree angle this entire time. Uh, but I'm sorry if that is the story to do. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, Sim, why, what was with all the heat spam at the start? You would have made so much money had you just been firing AP this entire game. But, oh well. Um, and the fact is he did not use his 
the large repair kit, even though it was on. Though that may have been also as a buff more than anything else, now that I think about it. Although, Slim will tell us in the comments why he has the large repair kit on. And if it's a buff, or is he, if he actually intends to use it in most games. Um, this was a great game. Thank you so much, Slim, for saying it in. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This IOE throughout.